Hey guys. Okay, I'm back again for this part. Oop. Um, I finished sewing all of it together. I've sort of got a little bit here. I may go around the edge, so I might sew a little bit more. But I don't know if you can see that or not. In the back, I folded that over to make it a little bit shorter. So I did the herringbone stitch all the way along and then I went back over and stitched the red on top of each of one of those little stitches you can sort of see actually looks quite nice on the other side as well so it's just look like little stripes and I thought I was going to do um, I'm going to do um, what's in a lazy daisy stitch but I went through my buttons and I was initially going to use these ones in between because I've got a whole thing full of the same button um, but they're just so big <laughs> so I might have to come up with another project for that so I thought well I'll grab my other, my other box look at the size of this button I'm sure it'll come in handy for something um, and just go through them and I thought oh, you know that I got from these ones I got from this little pack which had had all little red ones so and I don't care that they're not the same I think that's sort of the beauty of it um, yeah so what I'm gonna do is just go opposite and um, maybe what I might do is glue them down just a tiny little bit and hold them down and then I'm going to go and stitch as well at least this way I know that they're going to stay there like even though this is the um, art glitter glue I actually don't have the art glitter glue in there I've got the I've got, I originally did have in, it in there but I've got the tacky craft glue which I find works really well with fabric and it's sort of like a PVA glue um, you know works quite well so it's um, still used Fabri-Tac. So um, yeah, I thought I'd, I'd, I quite like the fact that the buttons aren't all the same. They're just a tiny little bit different. Same colour. And then what I'm going to do um, is. In the white, I will use red thread, and in the red, I'll use white thread. So, okay, I need to find another. Another one like this. They seem to be all four. There's quite a few. There's another one. It's a bit dirty, but there's a few that have got the two, which would be so much easier. That's quite thick. Might do that one. There we go. It's only a dot, and if I move it, it will come off. But if I don't, it should be all right. Um, thought a shinier one would be nice. So, it's so cute. I just love it. Originally, I started sewing along here, um, just using the white, 
and then because it's it's old um, fabric it, it's quite thick and I was like really struggling I thought oh, I'm just gonna sew it on the machine um, because I actually I'm like I'm getting RSI my arm was starting to hurt I was doing so much stitching so um, yep actually what I might do um, I want to try and get the ones with the four just so it all matches maybe in the next one I can get some within the two okay okay just let it push it down a little bit okay so I've got a thread here Might even move this over out of the way a little bit, move that up so a little bit more in camera. They're just so pretty. And I've uh, unpicked that one, so I've got one down and then a whole other one to go. So I've got to cut that up and um, you know, stitch it all together and all that kind of stuff, but I thought I will Okay, do a knot Only thing with stitching buttons on We're going to have to do um, You know do it one at a time knots in all of them. So it's not hard It's just a bit time-consuming and I think there's about 20 Hope these are gonna stay down. Hopefully, if anything, if you used fabric hack, they would definitely be staying down. But because it's the other one, so I thought it'd be quite nice to might do two because that's um. Maybe three. Okay. No, none too exciting. You watching me do sew a button and then three the other way. I'll do one in the the red and then one in the white just to show you what it will look like and then I am going to um, turn this off this will be another I want to put these videos together I think um, and then so the other one and then I'll show you what it looks like in my kitchen so that's two maybe two is enough that's sort of bulk it up a little bit, which is quite nice. Okay. Then stitch it off. There we go. I mean, if I was using the same colour. I could just go across but I don't really want to do that because um, I mean you can see it okay now I'll get the white been doing a lot more sewing projects lately I'm just really enjoying it um, no, I, mean, I still enjoy doing paper stuff but um, I enjoy doing my sewing too, especially during this time because it's quite relaxing. Okay. Here we go. This is quite thick, so I reckon I only need two for this.
and this buttons seem a little smaller. Okay, oh, it's a beautiful day today. I mean, by the time you see this video, it may not be a nice day <laughs> because uh, a lot of stuff I can pre-record. But beautiful. Just went for a walk with my friend this morning. It's always so good. That's the only way you can see them is if you do exercise with them, both wearing our masks. Can't give each other hugs. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I like that. I like that. And I like that it's a bit of a crisscross. So I might try and find the ones with the uh, the four holes in the white. So I'll have to probably go through all my buttons again and find a few more. How cute is that? So I've got a video that I wouldn't mind watching so I'll probably watch a bit couple of videos while I'm busy sewing these little buttons on and then that will be finished it's gonna look so cute just hanging up on my little shelf so well here we go we can pretend this is my shelf ah! <laughs> well, that was smart what <laughs> can all have a laugh at that well here we go and then that'll be hanging up like that on the shelf so there you go <laughs> well I've got to talk through them anyway <laughs> okay guys thanks very much I'll bring it up a little closer so you can see how cute is that it does really make a difference it does stand out like I think the red with that and see when you put the red in there it'll really stand out and look quite lovely okay guys thank you very much and I'll um, in the next part which is probably going to be connected to this I'll um, I'll video it that all both of them finished and hanging up in my kitchen so you can see what it looks like it's so cute okay thanks for watching bye